Good morning again. This is Sally. I have done two videos in one day, which is a record for me. But I first video I showed those uh, French pages I got, and I was almost done with this one. So I finished it up, and I'm ready to show it to you. Um, the book is called The School Book of Forestry, and this book is from 1922. So it's almost 100 years old. It's in really good condition. The cover is, you know, isn't that beautiful? Love the colors. And had a great spine. It's in good shape. And here's the back. So I made a closure um, using one of my vintage buttons from that I had gotten from my grandmother and a piece of elastic. And um, on this eyelid are, is a little charm, which is fastened with a clasp, so it can be taken off. It has leaf charm and a butterfly. It's a little key, another leaf, and an old coin. And then a clasp here at the top. I'm just gonna set that over there. Okay, so this book has 77 pages and it the reason it's an odd number is because I'm one of the pages is a tip in. Um, it measures eight by five and a half by about one and a half. It's a little wider over here, <laughs> but not too bad. And so the inside cover is some of some handmade marbleized paper I ordered. And I just love this marbleized paper. Um, you can actually see where the, it's where it's shiny, where the ink was really thick, and in some places it's real thin, and it's got lots of neat swirls and neat colors. Actually, both of these were from the same sheet of paper. It's got that gold in it, which I love. Just beautiful colors. So here's an Edith Holden page, which I did. I had to hinge it with a piece of fabric. I have two Edith Holden books. One of them has pages that are glued in, and the other one has regular signatures. So when I use these pages, I have to put a hinge in there. Um, these are the glued in pages. So I don't really have a lot of vintage ladies in this journal. In fact, she's the only one, but look at how adorable she is with her little hat. And then I just use some um, some gauze that I dyed to kind of put around her so it kind of gives her a, a look like she's in the forest. She has a butterfly. And this tag here went really well with the colors on this page. It's a fussy cut flower, some collage. It just fits right in there. So this is a flip out. This is actually the end paper from another book and you can see right here it says uh, California State Textbook. So I like the picture on it of uh, the forest with the lady, the prince and princess or whatever they are. And here's the castle up here. So this is the page I did a kind of a tip in. I guess actually it would have been an extra page but I stitched these two together, that's what happened. So this is a page from my junior instructor book, and that book is like from about 1900, and it has some beautiful photographs of birds in it. And so when I stitched these two pages together, I was able to flip the second half of this page out so it's not, you know, half of it in one spot and half of it in another. You get to see the whole picture, which is I like a lot better. And this way I added some extra writing space to the back of that picture. So page from a children's book, uh, The Bun and the Wolf's Story. And I noticed that I had the, cut this little picture of the wolf and the bun out and stuck it with some other stuff and I came across it. Um, I think this was from the, the original book's end paper. So I just stapled that on there. Another cluster.
another page from a different children's book. And I used quite a bit of these of this uh, German scrap in here. This is, they're pages, and, and I don't know if mine are replicas or originals, but they were very popular a long time ago. Uh, you, they were, the pictures were kind of partially cut out and then just connected together with little strips of paper. So um, I managed to find someone who had a bunch of it that I got from her, and I thought that looked nice there. This is the cover of the mushroom, or the book jacket, I should say, of the mushroom book, which I love so much. And I thought this would make a nice page because you could fold those flaps in and make pockets. So here is, here are some mushrooms to go in this pocket. That's a page from the junior instructor book, which has some beautiful lessons written in cursive. And um, I just like the way that looks another cluster with collaged papers and a flower. Here's a page from uh, the Alice and Jerry book, which I read when I was in school. And in this story, she lost her puppy, so I found this picture in a scrapbook. It's not exactly what her puppy looks like, but it's the same color. Did a little napkin collage there. So here is the two-page spread from the book, the storybook. And I just thought this page was so pretty. I wanted to have it, I didn't want to cut it down any. So I managed to kind of fold it in like this so I could use the whole thing. There's her puppy. She found him. So because this was where the fold was, I had that kind of blank spot there. So I used a a piece of German scrap to make a little belly band, and I put in this bookmark, which has the automobile roads of Yosemite National Park. So this is dated 1912, but it is a replica. And since this was about Alice, uh, I decided to put in a little Alice in Wonderland on this little card some fabric. Here's the other half of the mushroom cover. So here's an old postcard from Jamaica, 1909. I think it's very pretty with the gold foil background. And uh, I got those French pages, which I showed in the other video from one of my customers. And I didn't really have time to put any in this book, but I did take this one page just folded it in half and tucked it in here. Since it's about plants and it kind of went with the theme. Some die cuts. Another children's book. I love this picture. Twinkle, it goes with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's German scrap. And I put a different book page, stitched it onto this page, and then turned it into a pocket for this, which is a page from another book I have. It's about preserving fruits. And here they are, preserving the apples, and they tied them up by their um, stems and hung them, which I think is a great idea. <clears throat> okay, another little cluster with some different kinds of, you know, yarns and fibers and stuff in there. So I was cutting out a bunch of circles and I decided to um, save the paper where I cut the circles out and I just tucked in these little pages from a tiny little notebook. Um, it lists somebody's expenses and like breakfast was 25 cents, lunch was 40 cents, so it must have been from a while ago. And then I also just have a couple of blank pages in here also. Two pages stitched together. Now this is a feather um, that came from the beach here. It's a seagull feather, but it's just taped down here, so it could be removed if you didn't want to have a feather in there. 
some ribbon trim that I tea stained. That's some more German scrap. This part here has been added. So that's the first signature. Second one starts with some uh, wrapping paper that I got. I just thought those frogs were really cute. So colorful. And this is a page from um, a children's garden of verse. One of the uh, really beautiful color illustrations. Most of the illustrations were line drawings like this one. This is also from that book. And they're just very charming. So this page here was part of one of the Cavallini posters. I didn't really like care for the plain white background, so I got out my spray inks and did a little spraying on here and then added that stamp, which kind of goes nicely with this paper. So this is from a book that I have that has really big pages, and so I was able to um, use one of those and fold it it up and made it into this pocket here. So this is a collage tag. I like to collage the back sometimes too, just to make it more interesting. And this is a page from a bird book that I have. I really love that paper. So I put it here so because it goes really good with the pink. Some more of that marbleized paper or just sewed on as a trim. And here I took two different pages that I've hand dyed. This one I dyed with the uh, cinnamon tea, which started out purple and turned blue. And this is uh, some tea stained paper with just a little bit of spray ink on it. And then I just tore them in half and stitched them together. So this is a page from a little bunny book I have because, you know, everybody loves bunnies. I know I do. Onion skin paper. So this time I used uh, just this little strip of paper here as a hinge for this Edith Holden page. A little fabric trim there. So the other side of the pocket page has um, this woodcut tag print and one of my collage tags. This is some of the paper I dyed uh, with onion skins in the oven. That was white paper. It turned it totally brown. some um, feed sack fabric and I've turned that into a little flip with um, this is just an, an old book page stitched down and then this is the original page underneath this is a also a page from another children's book and this this book has very large pages, so they're really easy to cut down and just pick out the parts you want to use. Some paper cloth for the pocket and a tag with some napkin collage and a tarot card. Another cluster with just a little piece of paper tucked in there for a tuck spot. Some more German scrap. This was a children's book, page two, and uh, kind of just took the, a couple of pages and cut them apart and turned some of it into pockets for like, for this um, tag here. And then on this side, another pocket for this tag, which is actually some um, paper collaged on craft paper and then run through the, um, with a, an embossing folder 
through like a big cut kick or big shot. So it makes a really nice texture and it kind of gives the paper a, a nice feel. And I added this little Tim Holtz number to it. Some beautiful apple prints from a, uh, another book I have. Children's story, botanical page, some um, fussy cut gnomes. Mushroom book, another feather. This one is uh, a guinea hen feather. I love the polka dots. This pocket's made, it has a little bunny here with some mushrooms. That's from a book page and then I made this collage tag for it with a little bit of scenery here and this raven, which seemed to go nicely with it. And actually, I thought it looked good peeking out at the top of here, too, with these trees. It's another cluster. This time, um, I was cutting out this bug, and I just cut the legs and antenna off of it and then used some thread and... So I just looked at the original picture and sewed on the legs with thread. So I thought that was kind of a neat idea. I did it on another one in here too. Um, so here's a little vellum bug. He just fits right down in this little spot. Page from a field guide about bugs. It's a, a cluster that I turned into a tuck spot. Some more handmade paper. This paper has lots of different colors in it. I think they're made with um, colored threads that are mixed in with the paper. Just makes it look really interesting. And these are paper cloth, which I did a lot of stitching on for the pockets and then a tag I made. And another one. more of that paper I dyed with the onion skins. A flip out. The fabric hinge. Another picture of some insects from my a field guide that I have. And uh, this is just a little journaling card I made on some collage paper. No snag paper clip. And on this side, I put this uh, flower fairy because, I don't know, you know, some people really just don't care for bugs that much. And since it seemed like a bug overload, I, I tucked her right in here. <laughs> so I don't really, I'm not that crazy about bugs myself. Flip out for extra writing space. I love that picture. More from the mushroom book. And a field guide. There's um, Goldilocks, only in this story they call her golden hair. So this was also dyed with uh, onion skins and it has some fussy cut leaves on there and an embossed stamp that I um, emboss it on, put it on um, deli paper so it's real thin and then emboss it and then I can just glue them wherever I like. So uh, we have uh, actually golden hair, but um, it's the story about golden Goldilocks. And so I put the three bears over here and there it looks like they got into somebody's food. And so here is a belly band with just some different pieces of paper and cloth all stitched together and then a book page which I turned into extra writing space. And it can just fit in here like this. Another two pages sewn together and 
a little pocket here for this collage tag. See some more of that gold embossing I did on deli paper. It comes out really nice. It comes out really great in gold. Also, black looks really good, too, for the embossing. Oh, this is some kind of, um, I don't know, account card of some kind. So here is an up uptuck and a tea stained envelope. Inside is just this little journaling card I made uh, from a page from a children's book. The pages are really crumbling in this book, so I can't really use them in journal, but I do love the pictures. So I, if I mount them on something, you know, solid, then I can use them. Just pieces stitched together, and there we go. That's it. Um, sorry, it was. I think it might have been a little long. I'm sorry about that. But if you like it, this will be listed in my Etsy shop, and it. Uh, I will have a link to my Etsy shop underneath this video. So if you're interested, check it out. And thank you for watching.